Lodash is a very large and powerful library for JavaScript developers to do all sorts of common functions in a quick and easy way. Although new versions of JavaScript do have more powerful methods, Lodash still provides fast and convenient methods which simplify JavaScript development. Now there's over 300 methods in the huge Lodash library. And in this series of videos, I'm going to introduce the most common ones that can be used in everyday coding activities. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn what is Lodash and why learn it and also how to install it. You may be curious to find out more about Lodash and what it can offer. As a JavaScript developer, you may have at times got really frustrated with some of JavaScript's strange syntax and sometimes complicated ways of doing things. And just when you have it figured out, it's so easy to forget and then the cross browser issues start kicking in and causing additional headaches. Now, Lodash is a JavaScript library that was written and designed to address these issues and the shortcomings of the JavaScript language. Lodash is designed from the ground up to be efficient, elegant, logical and portable. And it's certainly fast with a high performance in mind. Although with the introduction of modern JavaScript like ES2015 and with some of the functionality that is not available in native JavaScript, it's still not as concise and as powerful as a Lodash library. Lodash offers a large number of functions to manipulate collections and arrays in a consistent, powerful manner, especially when used with this chaining feature. It also has a large number of methods to manipulate objects, which is particularly useful when working with JSON data and picking out objects to send to an API. Lodash still very much has its place in the modern JavaScript world. With that said, I'm sure you're just as eager as I am to crack on and learn how to install it. So let's do that next. So in this video, we are going to learn how to install Lodash. And one of the other things we need to do is know exactly where to get the documentation from. So the website that we are going to, as you can see here, is lodash.com. And you'll instantly recognize it by this logo. And it says Lodash is a modern JavaScript utility library delivering modularity, performance and extras. If we click on the documentation link here, and I'm going to do that in a new tab window, we can see that we could gain access to all the various sections. And it's got a quite useful search facility. So if I do a search for join, for example, you can see it finds the results. And if we just click on it and get access to the documentation, we can find some examples. So this is very useful. The course that you are currently doing uses the latest version of Lodash, which is currently 4.17.15. So make sure that you are using that version of the documentation and not the older versions. Otherwise, it's going to get a little bit confusing Unless, of course, you've got an older version of Lodash in your website somewhere. In which case, you can go to the older version of the documentation and you can find out what the differences are. But as I say, for this course, we are going to use this latest version, version 4. Now, to install Lodash, you can just go on the home page and it gives you quite a lot of useful instructions here. You can do it in a browser simply using a script tag like this or if you prefer you can use npm and the commands given here and then if you do you can just simply use the full build here or the core build if you prefer i just generally use the full build just to pull out the stuff that i need and just to show you that in action if i go to my ripplet website here which is basically a little console ability to execute JavaScript on the fly and which we will be using throughout the course. I'm just going to expand the window here and you can see that it's just a case of requiring the Lodash library. We don't even need this line here. I don't know why that's there. And that's pretty much it. 
When I run that, I get access to the Lodash methods in this riplet here. So that's a very useful way of just testing it without doing a full JavaScript implementation. That's a quick summary of how to install Lodash to get you going and a pointer towards the documentation. I certainly always have the documentation open whenever I'm working on Lodash because it's very easy to forget how to do something and you can quickly dive into the documentation. As I said, the documentation is very good. Okay, that's it for the first video in this series about Lodash. And I hope to see you in the next video in this series where we will start to learn the common string functions of Lodash. Take care, keep safe and see you soon.